Right, let's give this a little test. If not, it'll, it'll be the actual thing. So that'd be good. So um, um, when did I last upload? Like February, maybe. It's a bit delayed, but that should be fine. It's not normally on my face for this long. But yeah, got married. Slightly different background. I've moved house. Haven't been asked to upload anything. But yeah, see if there's a seamless transition to this. We're going to move to this. What remains of Edith Stitch? Meaning to play it for ages. It's a bit spooky. That'll do, wouldn't it? It's a bit spooky. Yeah, a bit spooks. It's October. And I also realised that Dark Pictures Anthology. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> also realised that. Oh, please stop. Please. Also realised that um, Dark Books Anthology isn't out until November, so my normal Halloween thing's gone, which is great. You know, it's just great. It's just great. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking this is working, so I might just risk it. Do I risk it? Okay. No, I'll go for it. I'll just go for it. Um, this gonna be a weird little break. Just like a small. Will everyone? Have I even plugged that in? No, I haven't. Oh, you know what? I'll do it all on this screen. That's fine. I'm going to make this bigger. How do I drag this down? This is really good. Right. Okay. Let's just play. A right. lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. Okay. So we're going to a house. I sort of saw PlayStation Access play this. And I thought, I want to give this a go. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh. Sorry, I'm just going to pause this for two seconds. Sorry, that took considerably longer than I wanted it to, but we have... Plug this headphone wire first. Put it in here so I can actually hear the game. There we go. Right. Sorry about that. So basically, I, I see haven't you. been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Poor letters. Yeah. So I saw PlayStation Access play a bit. That last year, I think. In will. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or. She thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I sort of thought, you know, I fancy playing this. I'm not going to go for the platinum or anything like that. I'm just going to play through it, see how long it takes. Um, yeah. I didn't know what else the to really play. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. One of the finches is apparently missing. Yeah, I have no idea what The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. I know next time I might actually be tempted to do like something on Call of Duty. So I thought that'd be a laugh. Is that the other way I could have gone? Is there a basketball? Can I run? No, I can zoom though. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. It's a nice house. It's just weird looking like a future armor house. 
a child. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Who's missing them? Ooh, oh, it's my belly. Am I pregnant? Milton Finch is missing. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. 17 and. Not the dot? Is that fence? Oh, I don't know. Does the key work? I hope the key might unlock the front door. It, it didn't. didn't. I pressed R1 last time, so is that just the action button? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Okay. Right. Oh. Well, that's what you'd love to see. There's one thing that I was worried about was would this turn out to something like um okay I'm going through a dog or cat flap um prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11 is this going to the power turn... had been turned off the night we left is this going to be turn turn out like um Everyone's gone to the rapture and I got a bit bored. Hope not. It's apparently really good. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Oh yeah, this is the PS5 version as well, so I don't know if there's any difference, maybe? Ooh, I like this plate. Sorry. It's like something was digging into my finger. <laughs> It's getting very uncomfortable. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Ooh, like how Chinese. only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Like, how long ago did people live here as well? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Yeah, but what night did you leave? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. I mean, live in a swampy area. What's that over there? In the hearts. Is that a can? Is that a boy or is that a candle or is that someone stood there? Hmm. Oh, L2. Does L2 zoom in more? No, I think it's about the same. Oh. That triangle also that's okay, that's throwing me off. Triangle also pauses the game. Oh. oh. I'm winding it the right way. Great grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Cool. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. After Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got pretty sick of salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Where's the cat? Like, they must have ref le ref <laughs> left relatively recently. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Right, well, he's born in 92. When did he go missing? I feel like that's the sort of information you would put on it, though. 
Oh, date missing 2003. Okay. Depends how long ago this was, then we just goofed, I suppose. Okay, upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Wait, this was her house. This was her room in 1947. Okay. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we found what the key is for. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Mm. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Okay. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Am I Edith? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. I wanna put it out further. Is that poop or pellets? Like this room Being looks inside pristine. inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. I want to go in the painting. I mean, it's nice. What's that? Sheeps? No pigs. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Or is Edie Edith, I'm assuming. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Okay. I've eaten a carrot or something. Can I see... Oh, I can. Oop, oop. Oh, that's a fish. I kept eating and eating. I don't want to eat toothpaste. I assume I died because I ate toothpaste. I ate a lot of things that night. Am I dying anyway? Let's go to it. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I play straight. Oh, Jesus. Can I go over there? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I become their cat. Oh, 
I so jumped on that. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up and fell. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. I'm not eating a rabbit. Nah, eat shit. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. I don't and then like I flew off to find something bigger. Mama Rabbit! Great, yeah, you've just eaten a child and now we're going to raise her. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark! into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Maybe eat a I wanted fat, juicy seals. A seal? I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. I'm not enjoying this bit. Everything had changed. <laughs> now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, I'm not going to realize this bit. to stop, but also, I didn't. Hello, John. Still hungry. 
And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. My stomach started growling. And suddenly, that was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. strange <laughs> I'm not sure if I believed all of that but I'm sure Edie would have okay wait so who am I I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Well, I can hear a cat. Yeah, there. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home. Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. 
This is horrible. <laughs> it was a pretty big trace. Oh, there it is. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. This book. Hmm. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. and just do all this as well and just got lost. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, I'm gonna swing. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. doing this wrong. I'm swinging how I would in very well. Oh, My shoe with ah. Why is nothing happening? <laughs> I just want to know. Am I doing this wrong? I'm just swinging. At uh, Barbara's funeral, he right, swore I'm meant to do he'd both. never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. 
Maybe if I hadn't said that. The one time picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly. Yeah. Yeah, you would have to learn this Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Am I going to find Barbara next? After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. How do we get to Barbara's room? Oh, no one back here. Right, oh, okay. Could I have done this in any order then? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. So I've done this way. The yeah. last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Yeah, I've done a lot. Whose room is this? Gregory? As a kid, oh, I just assumed one. every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Okay. So... I seem when it's hard to go back down here then. That's basically a shortcut, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, lovely. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. This is the death of Manus. No, 1944 to the... No, she wasn't sure. She died young. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it what on earth The is Surprise this? Ending this of so Barbara nice. Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. 
quite in a lucky break. She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. Ooh. It was just to boost her career. Can I pause this? Yeah, I can. Oh, what's up on there? Maybe. It doesn't like that, does it? Ooh. Her scream hadn't That's a bit creepy. Well. <gasps> what happened there? Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're this right. Sounds Also, nice. I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks. Hmm. I'll be back in a sec. Wait, could I have just done that? 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. That voice sounds like one of the demons the music from... How far? She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Mm, good music. I'm probably going to get copyright claims for. And imagine the worst. This is cool. I like this. Where's a bloody hamper in there? Oh! <laughs> Oops. Um. But that's obviously from the dad. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Ooh. What was that? Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Sounds like he's about to... Ooh! Ooh! I don't know if you can see that. That is like some... Yeah, that's what they've added then. Haptic feedback and a crutch. Gee, that is solid. Up here? No. That's, I'm just going to press R1 because 
it's considerably easier. This is cool though. Describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Is it going to be like her dad just coming back for some reason and decide to attack her? Also, how did he get in? monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I mean, I can imagine it probably was the boyfriend, to be fair. So. <laughs> Do I have to go back down there? Ruby? I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. 
Okay, so now I use the music box. Oh, I can go up there. Um, be in one of those rooms. Be in those, that's the first two. What was this one? Because I didn't look in here. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Smashing. <laughs> so could I have just done that? But I would be tempted to replay it just to see. <laughs> Let's go down to the basement in. Like a silly face. Right. Oh, the bus saw. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Hmm. I do like how the words sort of fall away. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh, there's quite a lot of There's a food. pattern in all these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Apart from the grandma, obviously lived for a while to have grandchildren. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. I think that's I'm what meant kept me sane. R one should not be an option. Having a schedule, living for today. Mm. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. What's the shape? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Sorry about the clicking, y'all. We're inevitably gonna hear through the microphone. <laughs> and then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Yeah, this video is not going to get Maybe I just got tired music. of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. You should just sit down here, like what, eating peaches or eggs or whatever they were, and that's all you did. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, down there. I know it's out there, somewhere. 
Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. That means he was living in there, though, when everyone else was living. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Yeah, this means he was living down there when everyone else was. Because it was 2005 he died. And the person I'm playing as was born in 99. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. He was hit by a train. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Hmm. Oh, I miss Sam then. Oh, I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. I need to go back. I need to find Sam. Oh, no. Well, maybe I'll find him later. Those flowers have kept alive, and that's a plastic. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Are you sure there was no but other way I could have gone? But she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. I'm trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Yeah. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible I think
think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Is it not rain here? Like, What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Now oh, she lived a long while. He did not. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, is that the old, oh, it's the old house, right, okay. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh, so it is a boy. I was right. Where do, I, where do I go now? Ah, this way. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. No, because he's missing, they don't know. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. So I assume her mum's dead then? They probably said I should have probably. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, she is pregnant. Got that. Cool. Hopefully I'll find Sam now, because otherwise... I never met Grandpa Sam, but... I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. What? Am I going to have to shoot anything? Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? 
I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Don't even know where she is. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. I'm gonna take a picture of her. Island? What am I supposed to take a picture of? <laughs> I should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? I'm sorry, I thought I was meant to figure it out. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. All right, fine. We're doing well. But I thought that's what makes it do the transition. Is it? Could have been. Nope, not the sign. Yeah, you're gonna shoot a deer. Apparently Don, so. You don't have to do it. Great shot, Don. Oops. <laughs> Adam Pacitti. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh. Good. Sorry to say. <laughs> of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Why? Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Mm, must be that thing then. Sorry, but what? Oh, man, mind. 
I was saying, like, I might get that picture printed. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh, great, a child. Not sure I want to know the death of a child. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. He saw things the rest of us don't. I'm going to die in this bar. Dukes. Dukes. You reminded me so much of Captain. Ah. Lost in his Ooh. imagination. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> This is not free license music. Sorry about that, I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Yay, hey, frog. Hold on, I don't want Grace to take that Oh, I'm about to kill the child. I wish you could have told us. About the world he saw. Show you the mummy. There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. About everything. Yeah, sure even mum would have thought I can hear the blood. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Because you know that I'm sure it's happy. No, I want to go in. Uh, no, I don't want to go in. If you want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. <laughs> I really hope that picked it up on the microphone. <laughs> That's sad though, also burying him with all the toys that he took, died with. Who's K and who's the other one? I'm thinking I might do one more person and call it a part one there. Um, so go for this one. Ooh, a climbing wall. 
My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. I can't imagine what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she Sorry. met my dad, Sanjay. Fly to India. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Can I go out there? Oh, yeah, I can. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Lewis? Who's Lewis? Oh, right. I didn't realize she had a three. Oh, okay. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm oh, sure Edie was happy to have her back. But he's not a fence. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Who built this extra bit then? The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, like, I assume I meant to do something with this. Right. That's, that, that sounds great. It looks pretty. It's clever. But that's not the sound you want, is it? <laughs> oh, he didn't finish. Oh, oh, did he finish it? I thought he was going to come out like Mr. Ben and be dressed in a certain thing. I was four when Milton disappeared. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Has he disappeared in a disappeared in a way that he's just actually gone into a painting? Can we go into his door? Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. I'm not gonna do I count that as a person? Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> when is it? How long have I been recording for? How many are minutes? Too fair that's that. That's the second bit, isn't it? Oh, I can go higher. Wait, right, that makes sense. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more thing. time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Mm, because except of... Lewis. Uh, 
Oh, you're right, there's high oh, shoes again. I might as well just play the whole thing, mightn't I? Because. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. So, I've got to find Gus, Eddie, Edie, sorry, Lewis. Sanjay, is he just a leaf? Like four more people. No, I might just cat I must do it all, isn't it? Possibly. Oh, he likes pop. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. This looks I've got to imagine doing this. He kept for working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Began to what? Wander. Oh. Oh, you're... Uh, oh, wait, what? I asked him to describe it. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not really the thing for me. This is confusing. He said he started small. Imagining a I read labyrinth. the word labyrinth. Yeah, there you go. Just like your his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. I mean, to see. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. It's a thief. But he took it very seriously. How on I earth had hoped he'd find this. himself. This is cool. This is clever. I like this. Oops. No, Mr. Fish. But he found something more. Oh, it's 3D now. I worried about him then. It's like RuneScape. Daydreaming at the cannery. Yeah, you can have an accident. Too. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Should have done that. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. A new friend was an imaginary dog. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. day his imagination grew stronger. Beesh. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an electric. 
competition for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. <laughs> he started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis, until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Um, I don't care how I... I want to know where that one was. In Lewisburg, he heard rumours of a... Handsome queen. Handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for... Rainbows. <laughs> Radiant rainbows. I want snakes. It's boring. Ooh. Oh, no, I want to go through it. Yes. I oh, know my fish. He followed the sound of her. An electric sitter. Electric sitter. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Report. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Oh no, what's happening there? What? What on earth? Why is that happening? I hope that For someone who'd never lot. known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Did not like the colours, did it? <laughs> And then it struck me that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. So he spoke to you, not anyone else. Go back through there, please. <coughs> this is depressing. Are you just taking loads of hallucinogenics? <laughs> What's that? I'm wearing a bib. Began to forget the world we know. This is depressing. <laughs> Jesus. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Those the fish look like they're swimming fish. Let's say hello to this friend. Or is he going to kill me? Began to oh, despise that is me. the man with a royal contempt. Hello, boys. Not even doing anything. 
I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. They have good faces. Including the wise Calico who insisted on advising him. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Jesus. That's depressing. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. I did not think it would end like that, though. Like. He guillotined his own head off. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Mm -hmm. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Zoom. Oh, that must be Edie. Is that me? And that is my mother. That looks like my mother in law. <laughs> what happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh, this is my room. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edie, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. She gonna die. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it.
Yes, yeah, candle next to book. That thing you're afraid Good of idea. isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. Seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Mother, stop. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. She didn't look 90. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. It's really bad that I We both this. tried to make the best of it. Mm hmm? A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> she got better mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'd be nice. She didn't. Who's and then my I was alone. husband or partner or my baby daddy? The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Am I your child? I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. But I'm a year older than you. If we lived forever. Maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But 
now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. Please don't say this is me being bold. I'll tell you all these stories myself. You're gonna die when you give birth to me. This now. Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh my boy. That was really good. I wasn't expecting to be done in one episode. Is there any more? Who's Shirley Dallas? Oh, is this like the people that made it as children as well? I mean, that was good. I'm glad I played it. <laughs> you get goosebumps, don't you? I, mean, I wish I didn't die, but I didn't die technically. I'm whatever. Am I going to be called Odin? That's what I want to know. That's the fish hat. Oh, Milton was a gamer. Can I pause it? I can. Who did I not? I didn't find Gus. Oh, that's annoying. Should I quickly? Can I replay a story and find Gus? Gus, yeah, because I didn't find Gus. So let's replay him. Oh, it was here. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Nice spikes. You can't, oh, you can. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I... I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Whose wedding is this? Also, where are the next words? <laughs> when the time for photos I was wondering came, what that, that was as well. Come here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. A bit rude they didn't invite the bloke who was in the basement. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder.
wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Well, that's sad. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh, I'm assuming then that means I found everything. Okay. <laughs> that's. Yeah. That's a really good game. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I'll end it there, I suppose. Um. I know what I'm doing next. You'll know when I put it out there. I mean, I could, I might actually just record it after this because what a time is it? It is quarter past seven in the evening here. And I'm on my own till 11 because my wife is out. Oh, till next time, anyway, then. Bye. <laughs>